Could a plant really eat a person? We know carnivorous plants exist. The Venus flytrap snapping shut on an unsuspecting fly, or the pitcher plant drowning insects in silent green wells. Small, but efficient traps for small prey. But there are legends of something far larger. The Yateveo, or I See You, whispered of in old maps and forgotten reports. Vines that coil where you sleep. Roots that swallow a body whole and leave nothing behind but disturbed earth. It seems far-fetched, but the mechanics aren't pure fantasy. Plants like the flytrap and mimosa pudica already use rapid shifts in cell pressure to move very quickly. Turgor pressure, or water forced in or out of specialized cells, can fold a leaf or snap a trap shut in under a second. Scale that up and root it in deep, humid soil, and even humans may have something to worry about. Sensing prey wouldn't be far-fetched either. Some plants already detect heat or other chemical traces of life. A vine network laced with modified channels, like the same proteins that let us taste the heat of a hot pepper, could follow a sleeping body's warmth or a breath's faint trail of carbon dioxide. Each tendril would grow, guided by temperature, closing the distance inch by inch while you sleep unaware. The ability to digest prey also already exists. Sundews dissolve insects with a cocktail of enzymes, proteases to strip muscle, phosphatase to liquefy bone. A sprawling root system could do the same on a larger scale, turning flesh to liquid, drawing nutrients into vascular tissue that extends for hundreds of meters underground. It wouldn't chase you. It wouldn't roar or snap branches in the dark. It would wait. It would grow cell by cell until your warmth and stillness gave it the final signal. Roots would tighten, soil would shift, and by the time you woke, you'd already be part of its feeding ground. Dissolve slowly into the earth you thought was safe beneath you. Maybe the jungle's oldest stories are just biology, waiting for you to fall asleep.